Some of the issues that our farmers are facing at the moment is poor grass growth and this is mainly caused by soil moisture deficit. This is creating a shortfall in potential milk yield from cows and a key figure that needs to be kept in mind by our dairy suppliers that cows should drop by no more than 2.5% of their milk yield week on week. This shortfall can be filled on the farms by supplementing with additional concentrate or high quality forage that may have been saved on the farm earlier on in the year. This forage can consist of high quality silage bales that were saved as surplus grass earlier on in the year. This is as close as a quality forage as you're going to get to graze grass for the time of year. The breeding season is nearing completion on a lot of farms at the moment as well. A lot of good work has been done year to date, getting high submission and high conception rates, with many cows already scanned in calves on the majority of our farms. The energy deficit on these farms can have a negative impact on the embryo reabsorption. So the last thing that you want to see on farms at this stage is a number of cows showing heats over the next coming weeks and months due to that energy shortfall, which can have a huge impact on the breeding season. Along with this, herd body condition scoring should be monitored at this time of the year as well. Aiming into the late lactation period, body condition score should be building as to make sure that you have a fit cow for drying off. Along with this as well, we should be stabilising and building the mineral reserve of the full herd to make sure that this is at the correct level at drying off. If farmers are experiencing an overall feed intake shortfall, this gap must be filled. Concentrates are a good option to fill this gap. The gain summer sustainer range of 14 and a 16% supplementary feed are an ideal solution to this shortfall. Both products contain a balance of starch for energy and high level of digestible fibre to help rumen function and rumen stability. Along with minerals and CalMag, both the sustainer products contain the feed additive Agilin, a blend of high quality plant extracts which help in the overall diet efficiency, milk protein quality and milk quality as a general rule. Along with the overall feed shortfall that's being experienced on farm at the moment, additional burdens are being experienced such as ostertagia and lungworm. The tests coming back from bulk milk screen disease testing is indicating high levels on the farm at the moment. We are advocating good quality epronomectin to be used on all the dairy cows in the farm. The general rule of thumb to be used is that animals reading a milk screen testing result of over 0.7 first and second lactation animals should be dosed and anything reading over one, the whole herd should be dosed. This in our experience is proving that a lot of the herds are reading over one and substantially higher, so we would be recommending in this instance is that the whole herd should be dosed.